Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a different type of video. I'm going to show you my favorite products. I've done this like once before I believe, but I deleted that video because I just felt really insecure about it. But I promise you guys I won't delete this video. I feel so much more comfortable talking in front of the camera and that's really because of you guys, because you support me so much. Like every message I receive, I really appreciate it and it just helps me to get like more confident. So I just want you to know that I really appreciate it. Sometimes I see messages and I just feel like, wow, that someone takes the time to like say all these sweet things to me. I just feel like it's amazing and you guys are seriously the best. But in today's video, I'm going to show you my favorite products. Some of them I've been using for a long time and some of them are like products I have recently discovered. Um, so I'm just going to start right away because I have a lot of products to show you guys. So the first product I want to show you guys is this strobe cream from MAC Cosmetics. And this is basically a product you can use to strobe, which kind of means like highlight, I guess. Um, so I like to use it underneath my foundation and I apply it right here, a little bit like uh, above my eyebrow. And I just feel like once you apply the foundation on top of it, it gives you a very natural glow. It kind of melts together with your foundation. I do have oily skin, so I don't use it like in my T-zone. But for like here, I think it looks really pretty to use like underneath your highlighter. Also, it's really pretty to apply on your body. Um, I used it in my few previous videos, so if you want to see like how I exactly use it, then check out these videos. Also, I'm using it right now and my skin looks really glowy. I just really like this. So the next product is also something that you can use to glow up your skin. And this is something I like to use after applying my foundation. So the strobe cream I just showed you guys from MAC Cosmetics, I like to use underneath the foundation and this one on top of the foundation. So I like to use it um, using a beauty blender to kind of really press it in your skin. And if you use a highlighter, like a powder highlighter on top of it, it's just really pretty. I used it also today and it just gives a really nice, gorgeous, natural glow. You can also use it on its own, but I prefer like putting a powder on top of it. I don't really like it when my skin feels kind of sticky and this is a sticky product. So I like to use a powder on top of it, but you can use it on its own. Now the next two products I'm going to show you guys are probably not going to be a surprise. It's the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Supernatural and this lip gloss in the shade Goals. I'm wearing this combination on my lips right now and I also used it in a few of my previous videos and I just really like it. They're gorgeous on its own but also I really like to use it in combination. I think the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks are really nice, they have a nice texture and this Goals lip gloss is just amazing. You can apply it on top of every lipstick and it will just give such a gorgeous finish. Now the next product is this crystal top coat from Natasha Nanona. This is a product that I use like off camera. I have used it in a video, I believe, but like only once. So this is probably not something that you guys will see coming, but um, I really like to use it on a regular base. I just apply a few brown shades in my crease. I apply this all over my eyelid and it's just so pretty. Every time I wear it, everyone is like, whoa, what's on your eyes? And this, it's this product. And if you know, if you go shopping, they have like these lightnings that come from above in the store. And if those lightnings like hit your eyes wearing this, it's so freaking gorgeous. Also, if you go to a party or wherever you go, like if light reflects on your eyes wearing this, it's just really pretty. Now the next product is this Suifa Soft Gold Pencil in the shade Carnot. I really like to use this for in my wall line. I use it in a lot of my videos. Um, if you watch a lot of my YouTube videos, you probably have seen this come by very often. But recently I bought a new one because I liked it so much. So I felt like I really need to show it in this video. Then we have this liquid liner from NYX Cosmetics, which is called the Matte Liquid Liner which is just a black liquid liner. I recently started using it because my other liquid liner, which was the NYC, um, was empty. So I had to grab like a different one. And surprisingly, I really like this one. 
it's just really easy to apply i don't know what it is it just has like a simple applicator nothing special but it's just really easy to use and that's what i like most about it also it's like a super matte finish which i really like when it comes to eyeliner so when it comes to applying glitter i get asked a lot like what do you use and i really like to use this mac mixing medium yeah this is just my favorite products it's like a transparent gel which you use below your glitter and it makes it stick all day so yeah i don't really know what to say about this but i'm using it for more than a year and it does the job um yeah i really like it now when it comes to foundation i have two foundations i want to talk about the first foundation is the dior forever i don't think i've ever used this on my youtube channel but i use this a lot like off camera when i go somewhere and um I don't really like to use this foundation on its own. I really like to mix it with other foundations. I just feel like this foundation gives something extra to my other foundations, which makes it look extra pretty. For example, today I used it with my Estee Lauder Double Wear and my foundation just looks better. So I feel like this is a nice foundation to mix. I bought it because of Jaclyn Hill, even though she has like a complete different skin as I have. She has super dry skin and I have combination oily, but I really wanted to give it a go because she was so like hyped about this foundation. So I really wanted to try it and I really like it. Then the next foundation is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I think this is one of the best drugstore, what is, is it in the drugstore? Like, the best affordable foundation I have ever tried. It really reminds me of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. If you've never tried that foundation, it's like a very long wear, full coverage foundation. And it's almost exactly the same as this one. And this one is way more affordable. So if you have, I'm not sure if this will work on dry skin, to be honest, because I have, I have combination skin. So my T-zone my gets oily, but the rest of my face is kind of normal. But I really like it and I'm just impressed that this foundation is so good for such an affordable price. Then the next product I'm really excited to talk about, it's about the Inglot pigments. I have a few colors, I think around 8 or so. I love all of them. Um, I just feel like everyone needs to have them in their life, they're so pigmented. The shades are so unique, like you can't find anything like this in an eyeshadow. They just have such gorgeous colors. I've used them uh, a lot in my latest videos and I just think they're amazing. I do like find it hard to apply them, I do have to admit that. But it's just so worth it because they're so pretty. Like, Just make sure if you use these that you don't apply your foundation before applying eyeshadow then it's just okay because the texture is kind of crumbly or something um, i know you can use this product which is the dura line which makes it more like a wet liquid kind of finish kind of uh, i don't know how to explain but i don't like to use this i rather just wet my brush with some fixing spray and then dip it in here and press it on the eyelid I feel like this makes it too metallic, which leaves kind of a weird finish, if that makes sense. Um, but I know people use it with the Dura line, but I just like to use it like this. And yeah, this is just something I really like. So the next product I'm going to talk about is something totally different. It's a shampoo and conditioner, and it's from the brand Main and & Tail. And um, a Dutch YouTuber, I saw her recommending this in her Instagram story. And her hair looks so freaking amazing. So I bought it and I just wanted to see for myself it would do like the same. And I was seriously in shock how shiny it made my hair look. Um, the conditioner is empty unfortunately so I have to get a new one. Um, but it's amazing. And the weird thing is that it's officially like used for horses. Yeah, it's meant for like horses. And it... I guess they use it for horses because they want them to look really shiny and beautiful and then they decided to use it for humans as well. <laughs> so the conditioner is empty so the last time I washed my hair I only used a shampoo with a different conditioner so my hair isn't as shiny as it would look 
also using the conditioner but I really like it I will definitely repurchase it because my my hair has never looked this shiny and it just looks really healthy then the next product is from Lush which is a skincare product and this one is called Dark Angel it's a face cleanser made of coal I'm not really sure what the English word is because like um, the description is in Dutch <laughs> but it's black and I believe it's called coal and it's when I shower, I use this all over my face. I let it sit for like a minute and then I wash it off. And what this is supposed to do is to kind of deep clean your skin. And I'm using it now for two weeks. And I've used it like a while back as well, um, like a year back. And then two years before that, I like purchased it a few times, but um, it never really worked for me until now that I'm eating more healthy. Like it's really easy to say if a product doesn't work if you are eating a lot of junk food because you don't know if you're breaking out because of the new skincare product you're using or because you're eating a lot of junk food. And now that I'm eating very healthy and drink a lot of water and I use this, I do notice my skin looks really good. So I think it does work, but back then I felt like it did not work because I kept getting breakouts but I just think that was because I was eating unhealthy if that makes sense and it just makes your skin so clean it makes it kind of look glowy like it's polished and also it's vegan and it's made of natural ingredients so that's really cool so the next product is a little bit random but it's this bath and shower gel from the brand Trisel Moon and the smell is just so good. This is the Ford bottle, I guess, we're using now. Me and my boyfriend, we both really like it. And there's just something about the smell of ginger, which I think smells so fresh. I just like it. I have a second one here. I always wait for like when they have them in sale that you get like the second one for free. But seriously, if you can get your hands on it, just smell it. I'm sure you will really like it. Then the next product is also skincare and it's this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I'm using this for years. I think if you go back to my older videos, you will probably see this come by. Um, this is a really nice face cream for if you have combination skin. It's oil free, but it is like a very thick consistency. Once you apply it, it leaves a sort of base on your skin. And if you then apply foundation, it just looks so much more natural. And I do like full coverage foundations and I feel like if you use it in combination with this, your foundation will just look more natural, but you will still have that full coverage. A question that I see coming by a lot is like, how do you clean your brushes? And this is my favorite brush cleanser. It's from MAC Cosmetics and it's just their regular brush cleanser. I do have to say, this is not really a cleanser that you use for deep cleansing. For that, I just use baby shampoo. But this is just a really nice cleanser for um, if you have like a dirty eye brush. You just clean it and then after a few minutes your brush is dry and clean. And also there's alcohol in it so it's also like a disinfection. How do you say it? It, it just makes sure that the bacteria go away. And then the last product I'm going to talk about is this powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It comes in their powder contour kit. This is in the shade Vanilla. I do like the shade Vanilla, but I also use the banana shade, but that one is empty. This one is also almost empty, as you can see, but I do have a backup. But I first just want to completely empty this one. But I really like to use this to set my concealer. I feel like it gives a very natural finish, not powdery. I use it for years and every time I go back to these powders, so... There's just something I really like about it. I think because it's very lightweight and it just looks nice on the skin. So that was my favorites video. I really hope this was helpful. I hope I haven't really forgotten any products, but if so, I will take them with me in my next video. Um, if there's any question regards a product I have mentioned, just leave them down in the comments. I will answer to everyone. And just let me know if you have any feedback for my next video because this was my first, well, it feels like my first official favorites video. 
So any feedback would be welcome. And yeah, just let me know if you want me to do this more often. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That will be really sweet and helpful for my YouTube channel. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.